je pense que c'est bien. Oui, c'est une nomination politique pour euh, M. Dehaene et puis euh, je pense que c'est bien, oui. Un peu inquiet parce que je ne sais pas euh, comment ça a marché pour euh, l'argent d'épargne et tout. Est-ce que c'est sécurisé ou pas Est-ce qu'il y a un plan euh, d'État pour euh, l'argent euh, des gens qu'ils qui ont mis en compte d'épargne C'est ça en fait. I think let's say the most important thing it's reassuring to depositors. Uh, on the one hand, let's say you have the former Belgian Prime Minister being the chairman, and uh, it's true, let's say, like you're saying in the media, let's say, as a person who knows, let's say, the whole establishments of the, the local communes extremely well, communes which are the most important shareholders of Adexia. On the other hand, you have the new um, CEO, which is uh, an aide or a former aide to uh, Sarkozy, so we know he has very close links to the French establishment which shows, let's say again, let's say that there will be a strong political and also a financial backing behind. Let's say the reason that uh, Le Terme wanted to get rid of Fortis as soon as possible was to make sure he could devote his time to another emergency, which was Dexia, which he probably managed well. We will have to see over the coming days what, what comes out of that. But. Um, My view is that uh, it may be probably the same as we've seen with Fortis, that in the end, let's say it will be French state or the French financial groups behind, which will control these two important parts of the Belgian financial establishments.